How many are in there? Two or three. Cheeseburgers? Yeah, with sauce. We're gonna need bibs for this. Yeah, I know. Okay guys, welcome to the next episode of the Burger Brothers. Four. This is episode four? Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. It's going quickly. <laughs> but we came to a place in Sagamihara area, Machida yep. area. It's called the Village Vanguard Diner. Yeah, which is very interesting yeah. because I only know of Village Vanguard is that little shop um, yeah. where you can buy all kinds of interesting goodies. Yeah, that novelty shop. I actually yeah. did a Village Vanguard lucky bag opening. Oh, that's right, for New Year's. Yeah, for New Year's. So that's the kind of stuff they have there. So to find out that they have a restaurant it was kind of like, huh, that could be really interesting. So you know we had to check it out, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> so we are here at the Village Vanguard. Diner on the ninth floor of the Lum Lumiere? Lumiere. 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 Lumiere building. Lumiere. Lumiere. Yeah, Lumiere building <laughs> near Machida Station. So it's a pretty cool little spot. It's not it is. super busy at all. <laughs> so let's tell them what we ordered. Okay. Because I'm pretty excited. Because when you think Village Vanguard, you're thinking it's going to be maybe some kind of wacky burger. Yeah. But they looked legit, you know? They looked like they really took some time to craft some decent burgers. Well, and the menu was pretty extensive. Yeah, yeah. They had what? About 20 burgers ish? Almost 15? I would say about, yeah, 12 to 15. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but they had a number of burgers. It was quite a bit. Um, of course, whenever we do these episodes, we want to choose something unique mm -hmm. as well as something we want to eat. So, what did we get today, Aaron? So one of the first things that like came out and like was really like popping on the menu was the pepper cheddar melt. Yes. Now I don't know if it's really a melt per se, because um, usually when I think of a melt, I think of like two like slices of bread, uh, so, like a patty melt. Right. Um, but it looked like it had like a melty nacho cheese. But it cheese. had a melty cheese on it that looked really yeah. good. Okay. okay. And the other one was a Mexican. Yep, Mexican barbecue. barbecue. Is it called Mexican barbecue burger? I think. And she said it was a little spicy, so you know we had to order that. It's got a couple onion rings on it too. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, yeah. the and sauce and everything on it. Yeah, we didn't get a set this time. We just ordered the waffle fries as a separate item as well. But the waffle fries look good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited sure. about that. But yeah, they had a lot of different things. They had taco rice. They had. Yeah. Uh, Couple hamburg things. <laughs> oh, that's some hamburg. There's some pancakes well. I saw in the dessert Ooh. section, but yeah. That is something that Japan likes to do. They like to have uh, pancakes for dessert. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the cheese waffle potatoes showed up. I did not realize that they were going to be covered in cheese. <laughs> that could be the same cheese on our melts. We, we're not sure yet. It hasn't come yet, but the it potatoes like have it. shown up. So yeah, pretty awesome. And we got our burger diapers. <laughs> on standby here, so uh, dig in. should I just try one? Okay, yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna grab a not so big one, but it's got a bit of cheese on it. Let's give this a shot while we wait for our, our burgers. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mm. Oh, it's a big napkin. Mm. That was really good. Nice nice and freshly made, really warm. The cheese is just so gooey. Really good. Aaron, you put it on the camera and try one of these. Yeah, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. It's like a non-spicy yeah. um, nacho cheese. Oh, did you want to spice it up a little? <laughs> Is this, I don't know where this brand is from. Do you know? Mrs. Sharp? Marie Sharp? But I, I've seen it. Oh, Marie Sharp, yeah. I've seen it 
like at Caldi and a few places. A few restaurants have it. Mm. Yeah, let us know if you recognize this brand at all. It's a pretty common brand here in Japan, at least. Um, but yeah, it's a habanero sauce. So I think I've seen it in the states before, but I don't know oh, if really? it's from America. Oh, okay, I don't think so. You know, I'm gonna. Do you know that this is not just a napkin? Oh, it's to wear as a a bib. It's a oh, bib. Okay, I did not know that was a bib. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna put put on your bib. That's a bib. Okay, I did not realize that was a bib. Do I want a bib? I don't know. No, grab some uh, potatoes. I, I took the big one. He was, oh. he was playing with his bib, so. Yeah, let's get some of the cheese on it. <laughs> I think I got all the cheese over here. <laughs> yeah, spice it up. I think this sauce is actually pretty potent. Yeah, I, I when I can't find some of my favorite hot sauces, I'll definitely yeah. buy this because it it works. Habanero right. sauce is pretty good. All right, cheers. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. There's a lot of habanero. Oh, here's an napkin. <laughs> I love how you went with the bib as your napkin. <laughs> well, it was just there on top. I just grabbed it. This is really big. Yeah, I didn't expect. I thought I was just gonna pick up one piece, but then this whole thing came. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's got a nice, nice burn to that, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Really good. Like I said, I would buy this sometimes when I can't find some of my favorite sauces. Because it, it does do the job. Oh, oh, uh oh. Hi. Oh, is she so? Oh, that looks good. Yeah. I get the this one first? Yeah. Let's do it. I get you know, I can't not put on my bib though. Because everyone everyone in the comments will be complaining. Alright. There we go. Gotta put on your bib. <laughs> there we go. Now we're ready to feast. Yeah. <laughs> pepper melt. Cheddar melt? Pepper, Is it pepper cheddar, cheddar, cheddar melt? Yeah. yeah. Now here's an here's the next trick question. Do you remember the prices of these? We don't have the sixteen ninety with us. Okay. For that one, and then fourteen ninety for the. Oh Mexican. really? That was cheaper. Okay. Yeah. So sixteen ninety. All right. So grab yourself a half. Okay. So yeah, this is the inside of the the melt patty melt. Is that what it's yeah. called? You see, it's got a huge thick slab of bacon in there. It's got the cheese. It was dripping on the outside. Here's the patty. To be honest, a little smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. What do we got there? Some onions. Tomato, onions, onions and, and lettuce. Lettuce under there. Um, as far as sauce is concerned. That's at the top there. There we got the mayo going on there. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Let's uh, let's get into these. The I bean. got a lot of tomato on mine. Yeah, it should also be noted that the bun is nicely charred. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's a nice char on it. Toasty. Toasty. All right, here we go. Cheers. I like that. It's very peppery, isn't it? Yeah. For me, I almost have like a smoky kind of taste to it. From the bacon, maybe? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of having a, a bit of a fight with this wrapper, though. I think you got it figured out. Cool. I use the wrapper more for catching things than for actually eat, mm -hmm. holding it. The sauce is good, though. It's like a, um, like a mayo pepper mix. Yeah, strong pepper flavor. I think that smokiness is coming from the bacon though. Mm -hmm. Nice thick piece of bacon. Grilled onions. This is actually a really tasty burger. I'm not really getting a huge shot of cheese. It's mostly it's not, there. It's not as strong. It seems. Right? Yeah, it's not a strong flavor at all. But the 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 sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. The onions are good. I like the grilled onions on it. The bacon is good with the smokiness to it. Too much lettuce? Yes. No. <laughs> This is falling out. I think my half had more tomato than lettuce. Your half had more lettuce. My biggest concern with this place was knowing that the other village Vanguard places are novelty shops. Like yeah. How much of quality of food yeah. would they have here? Yeah. But I'm impressed. What about the patty? I mean, it's it's holding together much better than some places we've been to. Mm -hmm. I really liked how they cooked it. It was a nice char, but mm -hmm. I don't know, the cross section, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as high quality as I thought it might be. But there's a little bit of a chew on it. Mm -hmm. 
the bacon is more like a um, like yeah. a pork chop. <laughs> There's a piece of bacon right there. It's really thick cut. Really thick. It's here's the patty. It's thicker than the patty. That's it. <laughs> the pepper uh, cheese melt is the number one ordered item here at this That's restaurant. That's right. Most popular, yeah. Do you think it's because of how thick the bacon is? Hmm. I'm not sure. It could be that it's a unique burger. Most of the other burgers, well, some of the other burgers you can see anywhere. Yeah. But the Mexican one is also unique. I think we're about to try that yeah. as soon as I'm done here. But I think Japanese have a slight aversion to, oh, is it spicy? I best play it safe, so. That's true. But overall, that was very pleasant. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, it was really tasty. And bonus points for the waffle fries. Yeah, you do not with see the, the hot waffle. sauce. Yeah. These were four ninety, I think. Yeah, I think so. Or four something on the menu, yes. I think it was three ninety with tax, which was four something. Oh, okay. Three ninety. Okay. Next we're gonna check out the Mexican burger. Get a shot of this thing. Look at that. I I, sh I should have spun around the other one, but it's got uh, onion rings hanging out there and this really dark delicious looking sauce the patty looks pretty much the same yeah which I would assume it is um, those are, those are. let's get this profile okay so what are we seeing in here all right you got your mayonnaise looks like yeah. mayonnaise sauce was that like yeah. a what is pickle that? relish I'm thinking guacamole. A guacamole, it's nice. A, it's, a kind, it's something to do with avocados. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kind of guacamole, yeah. Guacamole, yum. Got that was really good. <laughs> some kind of chili sauce or something. Yep. Um, it's got, yeah, it's a really delicious looking sauce. There's the patty, grilled onion, again, tomato, tomato lettuce, lettuce, and, and that's it. One. The bun feels a little softer than the previous one, but don't forget, don't forget to mention the onion rings. They got lost in the cross section, understandably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got that Mexican spice smell coming off of it. All right, All right. let's let's do this. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu, Mexican barbecue Mexican burger. That guacamole is really good. You got a big bite of that. I must feel there's too much onions on these burgers. Yeah. I mean, they're not a strong flavored onion because they're grilled, right? Mm. And we got the onion rings as well. But yeah, there's a lot of onion on these burgers. Yeah, it's sure. not the flavor. It's just the fact that there's so many of them, like, you're constantly crunching into them. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. And so I think it's just more of the balance of it. It's a very messy burger. Oh, it is. Good job we got our bibs on. <laughs> Wow, guacamole just squirting out the back there. Mm. Mm. So many onions. You got an onion that ring? That sauce, no. Oh. Uh, that sauce is more of like a barbecue sauce than it is like a sauce or anything. It's a mix, right? Like it's a barbecue burger, but it's a Mexican barbecue burger. Mmm. By well, having the guacamole yeah. and the barbecue, that's interesting having yeah. that mix. It's real messy though. Um, I think it's it's got a Mexican kind of profile, but not as much as the one we created last season. Mm -hmm. But still, really good. The barbecue sauce is really sweet. I heard it's really sweet, but it is sweet. These waffle fries are incredible for scooping out the drippings. Mm. <laughs> mm, that was really good. Yeah, I I really enjoyed the. The waffle fries yeah. overall, the uh, pepper cheese melt was really good, and the Mexican uh, barbecue was pretty good as well. I gotta say though, I almost prefer the Mexican drippings with the potatoes <laughs> than I did on the burger. It's really, just, just really, really the, good. Yeah. Get the sauce for the mm. fries. Mm. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Waffle really and barbecue sauce mix. Because mm -hmm. it brings a nice saltiness to it as well. It's mm -hmm. really good. What do you think about the onion rings on the barbecue burger? In general, I'm a fan of onion rings on a burger. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I am too. But with all those other wet ingredients and also the thick onion on the bottom, 
it didn't do much for texture wise for me either. Oh really? Like I mean I didn't I could taste it. Yeah. But like there was no like no crunch to it. It just felt really soggy. It, like it was just mixed in with the guacamole. Yeah. I think if you're gonna improve that burger just by removing something, I would leave the onion rings but get rid of the grilled onion. Uh, yeah. That's just me. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that would be a good thing to do. Yeah, and maybe move one of those wet sauces maybe to the bottom or something just so they're not all there. Or maybe just know? not have as much. I think True. just lowering the amount of guacamole on there would have been good. For sure. Okay, so let's rate these burgers, Aaron. So All right, so previously we had uh, three places. Uh, we had Frame at number one. Frame's number one. Then Copain. Copain is number two. Good, good diner in Copain. Yep. Did I say it right this time? <laughs> you're right, you're right. And then number three was Put. Put Bakery, yep. Put Bakery. So where would you slide the Village Vanguard diner in? I mean, it had, it had some really good burgers. Mm. But again, for me, I think the patty was the, the little bit of a letdown, yeah, compared to what it could have been. Yeah. So I think I think frame needs to stay at number one for yeah, me. Yeah, frame's number one for sure. But is this gonna be number two or I don't know. I mean it could even be number three, I think. What do you think? Uh, good in diner, propane was really good. That was a mix though. I think good in, good in diner had a better balance to the burger. Uh, um like the meat to bun ratio and everything yeah, yeah. else was just easier a lot to eat. easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for that, I think we're both agreeing that it's number three. Mm. Okay, so let's put it at number three. Not to say it's a bad experience, because I mean I would definitely come back yeah. and try a few more of those incredible looking burgers on the menu there. I think was there a sign out front that said if you bring your receipt, you could get a set upgrade for free or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so. that was something that's a promotion they have running right now. Well, yeah. this is our first time being here, so, <laughs> so we don't have it. But yeah, apart from that. It's number a good place. three. Yeah, it's a good place. Good job, Village Vanguard. Okay, so that was the Village Vanguard Diner. I think it's a place that I would like to come back to at some point. They had a lot of interesting burgers, but you saw our rating for today. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's just where it's gonna be. It's, it's not a bad place. I would definitely want to come back again and uh, check out all the different burgers they have on the menu. Um, but yeah, there's just other places that I like better than this. That's all. Yeah, for sure. So I guess on that note, I just want to say if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to thumb up this video and also ring that dinner bell so you don't miss our next video. See ya! Do you know what they put on the french fries in South Korea instead of ketchup? What? Kimchi! <laughs>